Hello people and welcome to this new class in where we are going to continue polishing our paper document and specifically we will focus on the elevation section or section elevation as you prefer. In this class we will learn another way to improve the quality of our drawing this time using elements from layout. I'm talking about the drawing tools as the line or the rectangle. But first of all, let's add another layer called added elements. And this one called dimensions actually includes the labels too, right? So I will change the name and I will name it dimensions and labels. Enter. Dimensions and labels should be above so click and drag let's select this new layer added elements as the active one and we can focus now on our section elevation if we look at our model carefully we can check how we have some different graphic problems as this swimming pool which is in gray color or even this interior of the section plane which is not let's say very very clean it happens the same with this roof so let's improve it this time we will use the line tool once it is selected the tool will recognize the geometry from sketchup and we will create a shape following the section cut you will see how this shape is followed by a fill in white color and don't worry if that fill doesn't match the shape that you wanna achieve because at the end when we close that new figure everything will be fine in order to do this task correctly i recommend you to first of all have changed the mode of your viewport to hybrid why because we want to be sure about the final thickness of our lines and you will understand soon why here we have our shape already drawn as you can check the fill finally is perfectly placed it is in white color and we can control it from here shape style tray and here we find two different options we will use both of them the fill and the stroke we could even add a pattern but this is not interesting right now so i can have my fill active or i can turn it off and the same with the stroke with the perimeter of that fill i can change its color and its thickness as well so this is very very interesting because in case that we are happy with our lines after the hybrid mode we don't need to use the stroke we can turn it off and just use the fill on the other hand if we are not happy with our sketchup lines after using the hybrid mode we can use the stroke as a new line as a new perimeter for our section or whatever for this example i will use just the fill in white color one click outside and here we are let's do another example this time with this swimming pool i will hit the rectangle tool look that i can expand this tool this rectangle and we have different drawing options i'll use the first one rectangle and then if i draw this rectangle in order to represent the swimming pool i should select it and then first of all go over the shape style tray fill and change the color right let's say that we want to use this blue and then we can transform the length and the height of this rectangle just by clicking and drag we don't want actually this blue rectangle above the section line so we should be super accurate here because those lines are from SketchUp. Here we are, and let's go to this other side. Here it could be fine. If I want to be more precise, I can go over File, Document Setup, Units, and work with the precision. Instead of 0.01, I can say 0.0001, close, and then here I will have a bigger margin. Anyways, if this method is complicated for you, we can always select this another shape and turn on the stroke. We can increase a little bit the thickness and then when we select this blue shape, if we click right button, arrange, 
we can send it to back. This way we don't have to be worried about to align both elements perfectly and maybe is a faster method. Look here, we have this gap. I can go over here and close the gap. I will make this swimming pool higher till here because I don't want to sew a section line on the top of the swimming pool as far as it is water. And once I am happy with the result, I can go to the sample paint, one click, still this style let's do it again in this another swimming pool so one click and second click i will select my element i will make it higher clicking and drag and now we have just the roof missing again rectangle tool one click second click let's select it the fill should be white this time so I'll click RGB 255 in all the bars. As far as I used the stroke in the preview section line, I will use it here again, a stroke. 0 0.8 was the stroke that I used before. One click outside and it looks okay. So now I can check my new drawing. It looks better. Let's pan a little bit, scroll out. I think that now is much more cleaner. Remember that all of those new elements are inside this added elements layer. So if I hide it, I can see the previous state. And if I unhide the layer, this is the new state. Much more cleaner, right? Previews now. Maybe we don't need these stars and we will learn how to make them disappear by using what is called a clipping mask in the next class.